with Brother O'Malley. With one voice, with one energy, with one mindset. So trying to implement that same tranquilizing drug of gradualism, trying to sell that old familiar adage of it's going to take some time. Right. Trying to implement that will be quickly dissolved by the urgency of now. That's right. The resistance does not want to hear about that. It's going to take some time. So we might as well just let us go back to business as usual. No, we don't want to hear that. We will not go back to our respective places and wait for that which has not came yet and may never come if we sit idly by and just let it be. My grandmama used to say, if you ain't got no freedom, then we need to make our own freedom. So as I close, what exactly is going to take some time? The enforcement of the law? Is that going to take some time? Civil and equal rights for all Americans? Is that going to take some time? Freedom? Justice and equality, which was promised to all American citizens in 1776? Mm. Or what about the killings? Or putting a stop to modern day lynchings? Is that going to take some time? How much time did it take to rebuild or repeal Obamacare? Potentially depriving over 23 million Americans of health care coverage. How much time did it take to round up and expel immigrant Mexicans who only want to work and raise their families and pay their taxes? How long did it take to cut Medicaid, affecting millions of our senior citizens? Or to reverse course in the all-important Paris Climate Agreement? How long did that take? How long did it take to pull back diplomatic and renewed relations with Cuba? How long did that take? How much time did it take to roll back Wall Street regulations put in place to protect Americans from various levels of corporate greed and corruption? What kind of government, what kind of school of thought or dark ideology, what kind of nation gives rise to a racist, misogynistic, narcissistical obstructionist and place that sort of ideology in the White House. What kind of environment demanded that this nation go back to the good old days and make America great again? If the clarion call of make America great again is what we're hearing by all Americans feeling that America can be great again, so I leave you tonight asking a Pearson question. For who was America great? Yeah. Where are we headed as a nation? The thousands of immigrants are being viciously rounded up and deported by a modern day Gestapo. Very viciously snatched from their families and communities and shipped off as cargo back to somewhere else. Where are we headed as a nation? Where you are banning from traveling to and entering into this nation simply because of your religious affiliation. No, let's fully expose it. Not because of your religious affiliation, but because you are Muslim. Where are we headed as a nation? We're still, because of the color of your skin, your ethnic background, your culture, your sexual orientation, you are discriminated against on your job, in your city, by your leaders, by your laws. Where are we headed as a nation? Where the ground of opportunity and privilege and promotion is not level. Where access to equal education, access to public grants, public entrepreneurial assistance are not level. 
Where are we headed as a nation that can murder unarmed teens? Even 12 year olds waving a plastic toy gun because they are playing while black, walking home while black, driving while black, talking while black, swimming while black. Traveling while Muslim, working while Latina, learning while Asian. Where are we headed as a nation? Don't forget breathing. The United States is in serious trouble. And the election of a totally unqualified buffoon and his cacosocracy is an unmistakable symptom of the sickness of this nation. And I say tonight to the Democrats. We are no longer interested in programs that hand out free fish. <laughs> Creating a culture of dependency. We are no longer interested in buying or renting your fishing poles by which to fish. We demand equal access to the oceans and the rivers and the lakes and the ponds where we can fish for ourselves. My time is up, folks? Okay. So let me close. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? If not here, then we're. So it's us. All of us. We the people. Mr. Kajimi and those who think like you, we're not going anywhere. We don't die. We multiply. And lastly, to my brothers and sisters in the struggle, and the immortal words of my brother Al Green, let's stay together. Freedom now. So I end with the old familiar Swahili word for freedom. Well, Yahuru now. Oh.